Welcome to Film and Page. I'm Dominic, and this is another episode of Road to Dune. So we have some more Dune casting news for Dune the Sisterhood. So this article is from Deadline. Dune the Sisterhood, Sarah Sophie Busnina, among five cast in HBO Max series. Sarah Sophie Busnina, The Colony, Shalom Brun Franklin, The Tourist, Fauline Cunningham, The Northman, Aoife Hines, Normal People, and Chloe Leah Foundation have joined the cast of HBO Max Dune the Sisterhood from Legendary Television. They joined previously announced leads Emily Watson and Shirley Henderson in Indra Verma. The series, which is based on Frank Herbert's classic novel, is set 10,000 years before the ascension of Paul Atreides and follows the Harkonnen sisters, played by Watson and Henderson, as they combat forces that threaten the future of humankind and establish the fable sect known as the Bene Gesserit. Usnina plays Princess Inez, a independent young princess dealing with the pressures of her responsibility as heir to the Golden Lion Throne. Brune Franklin portrays Michaela, a strong-willed Fremen warrior who serves the royal family while longing for a home planet she's never known. Cunningham is Sister Jen, a fierce, unpredictable acolyte in training at the Sisterhood School, who rarely reveals her emotional core. Hines plays Sister Emline, a zealous acolyte descendant from a long line of murders, who carries fervent religion to her training at the Sisterhood. Leah portrays Leela, the youngest acolyte at the Sisterhood, with a deep empathy beyond her years. So some interesting casting news. Uh, five new actors added to the lineup. And uh, the only one I know or that I'm familiar with is Chloe Leah, because she was uh, part of the cast of the Foundation series that aired on Apple TV last year. I think it was last year. Uh, I watched the first season of that, reviewed it on my channel. Uh, I haven't heard any mention of season two yet for uh, the Foundation, but that is another solid sci-fi TV show. So interesting casting news, and it's going to be really interesting to see how this series plays out, because this is going to be in uncharted territory for me, because I'm not uh, up on the source material that this is based on, and I guess they're pulling a lot of elements, of, as I've said before in earlier videos, from the, the Great Schools trilogy of books by Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson that was released some years ago now. I'm actually kind of behind on a lot of their stuff. They've been putting out a lot of books. And they're almost completed another trilogy of books. And uh, so I got to get to reading some Dune books again. And I know there's kind of a split in the fandom. There's some people that aren't real big fans of their work. But for me, I, I kind of fall in between those two when it comes to the Brian Herbert, Kevin J. Anderson stuff. So it'll be interesting to see what Legendary can do with this source of material. And hopefully... It can be on par with the films that we're getting that's based in the Dune universe. Uh, you know, hopefully it's it's well written and it's well produced because we're getting a lot of badly written shows here coming out the pike. You know, a lot of the stuff on Disney Plus I haven't really enjoyed. Like, uh, I hope it's not like Kenobi or She-Hulk or any of them because those sh shows are really bad, really written bad. I hope this is something that's really well done. And something that I can really look forward to watching each week. Because it would be a real shame if this is the first live action Dune ongoing series that we get uh, for television. And it turns out to be a dud. So that's everything I got to say in this video. Let me know what you think in the comments section. And I will see you at the next one. I'd like to say thank you to all of my subscribers. I appreciate you all in helping this channel grow. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded.